This playlist, New Testament History and Prophecy, contains two books, Acts and Revelation. Their complete titles are respectively The Acts of the Apostles and the Revelation of Jesus Christ. Written some 2,000 years ago, after Jesus' resurrection, these books mark the birth of the Church and the future end of the age, the beginning and the end of the age of grace in which you and I are now living. Living in the age of grace, we all have this question to answer. Have you received this precious gift of the grace of Jesus Christ by being born again? If you have, wonderful! You are in relationship with our Father through the Lord Jesus Christ and are already participating in the kingdom of God. And, as one of his disciples, your inheritance is in the Lord Jesus Christ. If you have not yet been born again, please carefully consider receiving this marvelous gift and beginning this eternal life that the Father God has already purchased for you by sending his precious only Son, Jesus Christ, the Lord of all, to die on the cross for the sins of the world, yours and mine included. Here's what the Lord Jesus himself said. For God loved the world in this way. He gave his one and only Son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. John 3.16 Praying to his Father shortly before his arrest and crucifixion, Jesus also said, This is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and the one you have sent, Jesus Christ. John 17.3 When you turn from yourself to Him, receive His forgiveness for your sins, and follow Him in obedience to His Word, He will help you every step of the way. You will have been born into His kingdom. His life will be in you now and forevermore. You will be in a relationship with the King of the universe. Because our God loves us immensely, He has told us that this age of grace will not last forever. Speaking about the day of judgment and the end of time, the Apostle Peter said this, The Lord does not delay His promise, as some understand delay, but is patient with you not wanting any to perish, but all to come to repentance. 2 Peter 3.9 The Lord Jesus loves us, loves you, beyond what we can think or imagine, and He is coming again. Are you ready? <laughs>